Hello and welcome back to my channel Detailing with Jess where I'm just simply sharing the journey of building and growing my mobile detailing business. Today I want to answer the number one question that I get asked on social media all the time. How have I gotten clients for my detailing business? So we're gonna get right into that but really quick before I dive in I just want to thank you guys like from the bottom of my heart I am just ecstatic i'm blown away at your support we've gotten over 500 subscribers here in the last two weeks and i am just like mind blown like i'm speechless so i just want to say real quick thank you guys so much for being a part of this journey with me for being so kind so supportive sharing your input honestly for just just for following along and being so kind because there there's some harsh people out there on social media so thank you guys Moving on, onto the goods. How do I get clients? How have I gotten clients? We're gonna dive into it, covering every aspect of what I've done in my business to get where I'm at today. This video is gonna be absolutely loaded. We are going to cover business setup, how I got my first client, social media, social media marketing, client referrals, communication, my booking process, Google, and kind of how they've all intertwined into getting my business to where it's at so far. And this has gotten me an average of four clients per week um, averaging about a thousand dollars a week so here we go prior to actually starting detailing what I did was I got my entire business set up because detailing to me is all about your client experience and if you can make the experience enjoyable pleasurable while giving a fabulous end result and make the entire process super simple for your client they are going to be more likely to book so prior to actually launching my detailing the detailing aspect of my business I got my entire business set up. So I spent two months like getting set up with my LLC, my EIN, my sales and tax use permit, state business registration, liability insurance, working on my branding, my brand positioning, my, my website, my logos, uh, my payment terminals, my booking system, my social media pages, what else? My Google business page, my business cards, and then I built my van. So I made sure I had my entire business set up and visualized behind the scenes before actually launching my detailing business. So the very first thing, this is what I did to get my very first client. And this very first client is literally what set off the, the like domino effect of my entire business. And that was, I created one Facebook post. It was me in my black t-shirt, my black leggings, my black boots saying, I'm so excited. I'm officially launching my mobile detailing business. So just kind of making it public and making it known like, hey, this is what I'm doing. And in that post, I shared pictures of my van where it's like, hey, this isn't just some like side gig little thing I'm trying, like I'm legit. I just made this investment into my van, into the generators, into the water system, into this and that and that. My website, my social media pages, my branding it was already complete so that when I launched that one post of like, hey, this is what I'm doing, I had all of the professional visuals and systems already set up and in place to help people see the validity in my business. That one post, like I said, led me to my very first customer that created the entire domino effect that is now my business. I had one person within 30 minutes immediately contact me saying, hey Jess, I want you to detail my three vehicles. I've got a BMW, a Lexus, and a Jeep Wrangler. And I was just like, holy moly. I did three details and charged $150 for full interiors and exteriors on those details. My belief is that you, if I was gonna undercharge, I was always going to over deliver. I did their BMW, I did their Jeep Wrangler. They were amazing. They came out so good, they were so happy. But then they had this disaster vehicle because I went to do his Lexus, but he wasn't there and he was stuck at a meeting for work. But he felt kind of felt bad and he was like, well, I, you know, I've got the other two vehicles there at the house. He's like, if you want to do one of those, have at it. So I did this Toyota Tundra and I didn't realize it was disgusting. It, probably the worst vehicle, vehicle I've ever seen. But I made that thing look brand new. Brand new. To the point that he couldn't help but reshare the reel that I made of that vehicle because he knew how dang good a job I did. And I think that was that third vehicle, that disaster vehicle that made him like have that wow factor. That one, that wow factor, that one share led me to my next client who then led me to three more clients who it just keeps going from there. And so it just like gave people that extra confidence in me 
from over delivering from an undercharged service. So my next point and factor in my business that I believe has gotten me a lot of clients is that I truly believe that the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So back in 2021, I actually worked as a life insurance agent, a career that ruined my life for a good solid two years, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this client that booked me for my very first detail was also a life insurance agent that I worked with in my office. Anytime he tried to help us, advise us, give us leads, I was always very receptive, very open, very happy, very gracious, very thankful. And that past experience with him, like our personal interactions, prompted him to want to book a detail with me. Because had I not been grateful, had I not been appreciative, had I, had I not been open to his suggestions and tips and whatever, whatever have you, he wouldn't have wanted to book with me if I was rude, if I was late, or if I was just like, eh, thanks, whatever, yeah, yeah, I'm just doing it my own way. He would not have wanted to book me for his details. So my point is all of your past experiences, how you treat people, the way that you make people feel, that's going to dictate their desire and their willingness to want to book with you in the future. So the way that you treat people, the way that you do one thing is the way that you do everything. I think is incredibly important in your business and nobody's going to talk about that, but it's so freaking important. Those past experiences that you have in your life are going to, at some point, come back to reward you. Okay, let's talk social media. As I mentioned, my past relationships have been a huge kickstart in referring me, but a lot of that referral process isn't just like, oh, she's a good person, she does good work, like you should, you should book with her. Every single detail that I do. I'm always getting myself social media content. I am taking before pictures, after pictures, videos during the process, videos after, videos before. Like I am videoing the entire process. I'm taking the time to set my tripod up to get video content. What I do with that video content, I'm not trying to create reels for, <laughs> for other detailers. Who I care about is my future clients. What do my future clients need? What are they questioning? What is stopping them from booking a detail? Maybe they don't see the value in it. Maybe they don't, like whatever it is. I wanna make sure I'm spiking their curiosity and bringing them into the journey of a detail. So I take those videos and I create reels for every single detail that I do. And a lot of times my clients are just like so ecstatic after the fact. So I've done their detail, I've done their car, they saw the before, they saw the after, but then they're like, oh my God, can you send me the link to that video? I wanna share it. When you're adding music to videos and sharing clips and befores and afters and you know the way that you use this brush or the way that you steam or the way that you clean this. And it's created a lot of, I think, trust in my process from people that follow. They really see the time and the effort and I try to educate people through those reels of what the process looks like, what it is, why it's important. If you can share the value, help people see the value, they're more likely to book and spend the money. So I create those reels and I post them on my business page all the time. I, I reshare those reels from my Facebook page to my personal account and I think that's where I really thrive in my business and if you can start to make those connections, you can start to book more clients. Onto my booking process. The easier you can make your booking process, the more likely someone is to book with you. So I have set prices in my business. I don't do quotes. I don't upcharge. I don't say, ah, if there's excess dog hair, it's going to be like $70 an hour. So someone contacts me and they say, hey Jess, so I'm looking to get my car, de my truck detailed. I say, awesome. I'd love to do that for you. It's $269 for the interior and exterior. I got Monday at 8 a.m. if that works for you. If not, what I'll do, I'm gonna attach my booking link for you so you can see my availability and compare it with yours. Usually within five minutes, they've already booked their detail. If I don't have to go, is Monday good? I got Monday, 8 a.m. No, that's not good. Uh, well, what time's better for you? Oh, se seven, ah, I'm booked that day. No, just, hey, here's a link, here's my calendar, here's what's available. Let's make it happen. And I find that having set prices in the beginning stages. Now, if you're like highly in demand, you're booked out for months, you get to be picky. But if you're in the beginning stages of trying to build your build your clientele in your customer base, you don't have the right to be picky. And the pickier you're going to get and the more difficult you are and the more questions you ask and the more photos you ask for, the more of a hassle you're making it for your client and the less likely they are to book because people are lazy. If you make it simple for them, they'll make it simple for you and they'll book. Communication is massive 
I typically respond to all of my DMs because I get, I'd say a majority of my clients are contacting me on Facebook Messenger or they're calling me because they got a phone number, a card, and they're just calling me direct. So if they call me, I usually answer immediately. And I always answer my phone. I always respond to calls. I always make sure I'm checking it multiple times throughout my day while I'm doing my details because when people want something, they want it now. If you wait to respond to them the next day, the next week, or you miss a message, they never book. When it comes to DMs on Facebook, I respond like pretty much immediately, like usually within five minutes. And again, it's super simple, super quick. And the easier you make it for the client, the more likely they're to book. Okay, so reviews. I always ask for reviews. Typically around 7 p.m., I text my clients and I ask for a review. I say, hi, Susan. Thank you again so much for choosing my business. I hope your detail came out amazing. If you have a quick 20 seconds, because I want them to know that this takes like 20 seconds, it's not gonna take an hour of their time. If you have a quick 20 seconds, would you mind sharing your experience on a Google review? It helps new clients trust in us that much more. Here's the direct link. Thank you again and have a great night. Which leads me into Google My Business. Now I have a Google, um, I have a business page set up on Google. If you don't have this, you need to have this. It's free. I'm not a Google expert in any way, shape or form, but I get quite a few hits. I probably get about 300 hits based off of my Google page to my website each month. As far as my knowledge goes, I've only had one client book with me in the last three months off of my Google page, but that was a $400 detail. So I'd say my $0 investment in my 15 minutes of setting up my Google page has uh, paid for itself. So if you don't have a Google business page, get your business set up on Google business. If someone would search detailers or mobile detailers. My business shows up number three. Mobile advertising. I don't think this has gotten me much business yet, but I had one week that was like super quiet um, in business and that was 4th of July week. Turns out everyone was pretty quiet during that time. So what I did during that time was I went out and I ordered t-shirts for my business so that wherever I go, I'm just wearing, the, I wear that t-shirt all the time. It just strikes up conversation. Um, I also ordered magnets for my vehicle. So I just have these magnets that I can put on, take off, and it lets people know who I am. So guys, quite truthfully, that's everything I've done in my business up to this point, starting May 1st and today's now July no, August 1st, it's August 1st, so May, June, July. We're officially three months into business and that is what has worked for me up until this point to consistently get four clients a week, averaging about $1,000 a week, which works for me in my life. The entire client experience is what keeps people coming back to me and I just keep trying to 10X that. So that's what I've done, that's what works. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions on video topics that you wanna hear or how I do certain things, let me know. Peace out guys, till the next video. See you next time.